Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, we are continuing our music theme show today. That's a joy for me and I hope it is for you. I'd like to introduce you now to Adam Dale. He's a musician. He's the new face of the Pick Your Passion campaign for Louisiana tourism and we're thrilled to have him on the show. Welcome to the show, Adam. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. So for people who might not be familiar with you, give the folks a little background on yourself. Um, I guess I grew up in Minden, Louisiana, North Louisiana. Went to high school there. I've been playing music since I was 15 in the local clubs and writing music and writing songs. Uh, joined a rock group called The American Tragedy and we did a lot of touring, sold a lot of records and then uh, went back to my roots and started doing more singer-songwriter music. So that's kind of where I am now. I mentioned it uh, in your intro, uh, obviously being associated with Louisiana tourism. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the largest industries in the state, if not the largest. So yes. Talk to me a little bit about how that was important to you and how you became involved in it. I became involved because um, my band, The American Tragedy, were doing some shows. And uh, they, they snapped a bunch of photos at one of the concerts and just basically approached me and asked if they could use the pictures. Can we use your picture You know that we're going to be inserting in these in these little pamphlets into the magazines and trying to get people to come here and... Uh, pay attention to Louisiana music more more as a tourism focal point as opposed to the food and, you know. absolutely because people come here for a variety of reasons and one of them is definitely our rich musical culture here. absolutely there's tons of it I mean we've had plenty of it on the show already this morning right <laughs> absolutely well, one of the things I liked in, in, in reading up for this segment is that you know your music not only you know do you give your music to the people but it also gives back to the people right uh, I, yeah, absolutely we're doing that with the uh, Matt Kearney show that we're going to be putting on. As a matter of fact, it's going to be benefiting the American Cancer Society, uh, the platform group, platform225.com. They're going to be able to uh, donate um, money. <laughs> They're going to be donating money uh, to the American Cancer Society, so hopefully we'll be able to so what gave you the idea to kind of take you know your regular musical show and, and turn it into something that'll really kind of keep giving on and on? Oh, that wasn't my idea at all. That was definitely platform. They're the ones putting the show on. Um, but they approached me and asked if I wanted to be a part of it, and of course I was ecstatic. You know, for one thing, playing with Matt Kearney is going to be a joy. I mean, I, I've owned the guy's records, so, you know. For the folks who might not be familiar with him or his work, tell the folks a little bit about that. Um, he's a singer-songwriter. I, I, you know, I hesitate to say faith-based. I don't know that to be a fact, <laughs> but, you know, I've listened to his music and it, you know. Um, it's definitely prevalent, uh, but I, uh, I know that he's going to be doing um, some upcoming shows here in Louisiana, and this was going to be going to be one of them, and, and for a great cause. So, so if folks want to check that out, where do they need to go for more information on that? Well, they need to go to platform225.com, and uh, you can purchase tickets there. Um, <clears throat> you can purchase tickets there, find out the date and the time. Uh, it's going to be at the LSU Union Theater, and uh, it's going to be 7 o'clock, February 7th. It's gonna be fantastic, and for VIP holders, I think there's a there's a price bump, but <clears throat> you get to be a VIP holder and you get to sample some of his wine that he has. He has <laughs> his own personal wine. So, sounds like a great combination to me. Sounds like Louisiana. Tell us a little bit about you. You have a new album coming out. I do. It's gonna be coming out shortly. It's called Cats and Dogs. Okay. And I just had a daughter here recently, and uh, her name is Collins Avery Dale, so I named it Cats and Dogs. It's for her. Fantastic. So, yeah. Real quickly, give folks some information where they can find out more about you. iTunes, iTunes, and Facebook. That's pretty much all. I'm not Fantastic. a big, I'm not a big internet mogul. Well, Adam, <laughs> best of luck to you. Thanks for coming on and telling everyone about it, and look forward to it. Good luck with your event. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, they're one of the largest names in Louisiana insurance. It's Farm Bureau. Take a look, everybody. Well, Farm Bureau started uh, to service the farmers. Uh, many years ago, the insurance industry had a reluctance to service the farmers uh, throughout the country, and Farm Bureau started uh, forming their own companies uh, through ver into various states. You do not have to be a farmer to have insurance with us. Our slogan is real service, real people. Um, we teach our adjusters and require our adjusters to do three things when they're handling a claim. Be prompt, be courteous, and be fair. I've sold insurance. I, I probably know about insurance more than a, a normal person would. But I depend on my agent. And I want to be local. And if I got a claim, I want that claims person local. It is important that the agent understand the, the needs of the customers and uh, certainly the, the, the changes in the household, whether it be a, a, a new birth of a baby or a teenage driver. Uh, but those things are important. and. It, as a result of being in that community, they really understand 
Well, we uh, constantly challenge our agents to get with the clients at least once a year, if they can. You need to make sure that your coverages are coordinated. Uh, there's a lot of discounts that go back and forth between homeowners and car insurance and that type of thing. All of our adjusters are still out in the field. They're living and working in the areas where they handle claims. Many of them were born, raised, and educated in the area where they're located. And we think that makes a big difference in uh, giving them the ability to empathize with people when they've had a loss. The last several years have been challenging not only for uh, Louisiana, but quite frankly for a lot of other states also. Uh, but we certainly have had our share of, of uh, natural disasters. And, um, but I think our industry has done very well in working through those issues. But it does change the perspective of a company. And not, being the largest is not necessarily uh, the most important, but it's being in a position to honor that uh, commitment that you've made to your policyholders that, that is. And so we're doing what we can to make sure that we manage our company and are in a position to take care of our customers. Uh, should another event take place. Well, if bad things didn't happen, you wouldn't need insurance. So they're trained to handle situations when they arrive. You have to be up to date and up to speed on all these products and just continue to know where the trends are in the industry and what's going on. We use technology, I think, in a good blend. Um, we have the ability for an insured to pick up the phone and make a phone call to a toll-free number, report their claim, and have it assigned immediately electronically to an adjuster. You still need, when there's a problem, you need that real person to talk to, and it gives you a lot of comfort, and that's what we're here for. All of the policies that we write basically tell you the same thing in the event of a loss. Take steps to make sure you don't have further damage, preserve the property if possible, keep any records that may be pertinent to the loss and report it to us as quickly as you can because the sooner you report it, the quicker we can get out there and, and put our eyes on it and get our hands around it and try to help you resolve the matter. Uh, we are uh, here in Baton Rouge and have been in Louisiana for over 60 years. Uh, we're not looking to, to leave the state. Uh, we know that we have to operate our company uh, in an efficient a way that we can survive long term. We are here for the long haul and that is our commitment. We are doing what we can to manage our company. And, uh, sometimes that's popular, sometimes it's not as you know, but uh, it is the right thing for us to do long term. When Katrina and Rita hit, we had a tremendous outpouring of support from Farm Bureaus all over the country. Um, we have an agreement amongst all the Farm Bureau states that we will go to the aid of a sister state, whether it's in Southern or anywhere else who's had catastrophic losses and needs claims adjusting help, we'll send our people. Uh, we have three folks in Mississippi right now and three in Arkansas helping them um, in the aftermath of those. Our goal is to have people there the next day if possible. And I think after most of these storms, we were able to actually pay some claims as soon as a day to two days after the, uh, the storm made landfall. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out how you can do the Mardi Gras Mambo with the Baton Rouge Area Sports Foundation. Don't go anywhere, folks.